Yo, what up guys, welcome back to PAX. Welcome back. Yes, and today we're gonna review the glorious G Float ceramic skates. These are going for $15. And uh, we've reviewed ceramic skates before and they were the Lexip ceramic yeah, skates. The, the yeah, the Lexip ceramic skates and they're, they're little circular ones mm -hmm. uh, and they just go on the bottom of the mouse and you can actually stick them on really any mouse. It's just, you have to adjust the lift off distance. These ones, since they're from Glorious, of course they're pre-programmed, they're made for Glorious mice. You don't have to adjust really um, lift off distance much at all. Yes. And it works fine on its own. And it's designed to go on the Model O or the Model O minus. It fits exactly where the other skates are. You know, the white PTFE skates. But yeah, I mean, we've been playing with this and it is awesome. Yeah, and so for those of you who wield the D or the D minus, the small D, uh, these skates are not available for that yet at the time of making this video. Hopefully they come out with something for the Ds. So once you get it in, it comes in like a little package, it's super small, and you just open it up and it comes basically just with these four skates. You take it out and of course you have to take off the original skates that are on your Model O or the Model O Minus. I couldn't take it off with my fingernails. I had to get actual tweezers and take it out because I guess the glue was pretty strong on there. Then you just wipe it off with some like alcohol swabs or something and then clean out the area and then put on the ceramic skates and that's basically it. Also, don't forget to peel off the blue stuff. There's like this yeah, blue yeah. film on it and then uh, you just peel that off and then you're good to go with, with playing with this ceramic skate. And one thing that sucks is it didn't come with uh, alcohol prep pads, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, I believe the Lexic skates actually did come with those, so you could, you know, remove the old adhesive essentially in that way, reapply the new one. So, I mean, these skates are insane. All right, so we'll, we did a, we'll do a little test for you guys. So we got the Razer Akari mouse pad right here mm -hmm. with one of the fastest mouse pads you can get right now. You guys want to see how fast this is? Look at that. Look, you, it's... On a hard pad, it's just... <laughs> You already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> and um, yeah, the, the Kari is the mouse pad that I'm using right now. And I was like, okay, let's try it out. And it is too much. It, I, like, I'm a speed demon. I like fast mouse pads, but it's just too fast. Like I was playing, uh, flicks were okay. Cause that's more muscle memory, but like just tracking and just like stopping on dime is a lot harder because of how smooth and how slippery it feels. Yeah, now what they advertise this for is if you're, if you're a speed demon, you want it on a, on a hard pad, They've got their glorious Helios, which we have over here, um, which Try it does it work. You guys want to see it? It works very, very well on. Oh. It's, it feels like it feels like how the Akari felt, yes. essentially, um, which is crazy. It's super fast, but there's very, very little control on that. So you, it's like having mouse acceleration on, essentially, mm -hmm. if you're using it on a on a hard pad. So for those of you who want control, um, you would use a cloth pad on this. And so we have the Equate here, which is a, traditionally a very slow pad. Very, very slow, but it's super smooth. I wouldn't say it's that fast because they quit, like we said, it's super slow. Yeah. But it's definitely faster than uh, other mouse feet, obviously. Yeah, right? it's faster than regular PTFE still, and it gives you a smoother glide, and it's not gonna feel different on a daily basis. Like, yeah. your, your PTFE skates can wear down. Um, and they can start to feel different depending on what skate you have. They have flat ones, they have rounded ones, and these these just give you a consistent glide and they don't wear down nearly as quickly yeah. uh, as PTFE. And do you see how thick it is? Look at how thick it is. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty thick. It's pretty damn thick. Like Luca said, it's very, very durable because it is a ceramic material. So yeah, it should last you a very, very long time. And not only that, but look at how dope it looks. It's this like really yeah, cool dark, like gunmetal gray, right? Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah. It's like super reflective too, it's polished. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really reflective. The only thing I wish they did is I wish they were rounded. Uh, now the edges are pretty harsh, but they don't have the rounding in the middle, kind of like they do on, on some of the G-Wolves mice, like the Skull Mini, for example. Uh, they have rounding more on the inside and that just makes it glide that much faster. Um, and it makes it glide faster on a cloth surface as well. So I think that would have helped with that. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we'll see something like this in a version two in the future. Yes, and the main difference between the ceramic feet and like regular PTFE feet or just regular stock mouse feet in general is that it not only is it faster, but it's just a million times smoother for some reason. It just yeah. glides like, like, I don't know, butter, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. like, so, like oil is on here, you know? And not only uh, the hard mouse mats and the, the cloth one, but the glass one is also insane. You, you guys see that? You guys see that? <laughs> it, it sounds scratchy, but it's not. Yeah. It's not, it's just perfectly smooth. It just gives you a very consistent feel. Like if you've got multiple mouse pads, or if you're worried about if a skate's gonna work for your mouse pad, you don't have to worry about that ever with ceramic skates. You know it's gonna give you a consistent feel across the board no matter what you're using really. 
Mm -hmm. um, we haven't run into any issues with any of the mouse pads we've tested it on and we've had We've used it on plenty. And like I said, uh, on glass and also on hard mouse mats, I feel like it's a little too fast and you just don't have as much control or just as much control as I would like. So if you can, you should probably use a soft mouse pad, but just like a faster soft mouse pad, you know, like the Fnatic Dash Pad or the Thor mouse pad, you know, like one of those faster soft mouse pads. Yeah, and you can get these if you still like a control pad. Um, it's still going to give you control. Like if you look, see, look how it glides on here, mm -hmm. it still gives you really, really good stopping power and really good consistency. Um, and it can stop on a dime on a control pad. So it just gives you a more uh, a more consistent feel and smoother. Yep, Don't exactly. Forget that. Yeah, it's, I, I can't believe how smooth it feels. You know, so we definitely improve. Uh, if you're more of a control player though and you don't like fast mouse feed for some reason, then definitely stay away from ceramics. But, um, but of course, if you want something fast, like really, really uh, obscenely fast, then <laughs> you should probably go ahead and get this. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, like we said before, this guy's going for 15 bucks as opposed to seven for their regular skates, uh, their regular PTFE skates. And these are only available on the O and O minus at the time of making this video. Uh, but of course, check the link in the description as well to see uh, if they have them for the D and D minus, mm -hmm. whatever future mice come out as well. Yeah, but these guys, I mean, they're they're great. They really are, and I highly suggest it. Fifteen bucks. You think about it, the Model O, the Model O minus come in at a, a good price, about a fifty bucks. Mm -hmm. So sixty-five after you're said and done, then tax, and then you're good. Yep. Set. And we also didn't have any issues with like lift off distance. Remember like yeah. we did with the Lexip? Yeah, with the Lexip skates, you had to be careful because they're pretty high up. So you got to be careful with lift off distance on those, even though they are a little bit smoother than these mm -hmm. um, because of the rounding on them. Yes. With these guys, you don't have to worry about lift off distance. They're already made to go on the Model L. But anyways, that about wraps it up. Uh, if you guys do want to get it, we'll try to leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the next one.